Shrigan Dasare. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, the Java source file structure. Okay. So what is a, a source file structure uh, in Java and how many different ways are there? Uh, we can organize that source file uh, in a Java environment okay development environment okay so first and foremost uh, we need to keep uh, one thing in mind uh, if i am writing a small uh, java program like this uh, so let's say uh, class xyz or something like this okay so i have just done here and i have uh, named this source file as xyz.java okay and xyz.java and in the command line and in the command line if i am saying and the first step is to compile the java program and people think that uh, it won't compile or something like this okay so if you hit enter uh, many of them uh, think that uh, this is not going to work because it doesn't have main or something like this okay but that is not the case here hundred percent it compiles and uh, no nothing uh, no error will be reported but the real problem comes when you say something like this okay so class XYZ and if you hit enter then it says runtime exception okay then it fires and runtime exception because it is the duty of the jvm uh, when you are executing the java file when you are compiling the uh, java file it is uh, without having a main that is not a problem for the compiler it the actual problem is with jvm which uh, executes uh, the execution or the entry point uh, is from main uh, for this reason we don't have public static void main here and for this reason the jvm will report a runtime exception uh, saying that no such main method not found or something like that uh, main method not found no such method error main okay no such method error main something uh, runtime exception will be fired here and this we need we need to be have uh, this clarity uh, that having not having a main is not the problem with the compiler but it is the problem with the jvm okay no such method error main will come here okay so if you want you can write here no such method error colon main okay so main method not found you can say uh, runtime exception will be fired there is a difference between uh, compile time error compile time errors are syntactical errors but uh, the runtime uh, whatever the error is coming in the runtime or when you are running a java file or running a java class and that is known as runtime exception okay so uh, next if you have uh, multiple classes and what is the uh, situation there okay so i'm just erasing this one or let me erase the outer line once here okay so if you have uh, another uh, class here uh, class abc and uh, class abcd or something like this and you keep on having multiple classes uh, and there is uh, no main and now and what the people think that there is no main here and uh, they have uh, many doubts and uh, and what should be the name of uh, this java file here okay so this java file uh, can be uh, named as either xyz or abc or abcd or whatever it is okay so for example if you uh, name there is no restriction uh, first of all there is uh, no restriction uh, for a java source file uh, to be named as only the class name or the name of the class which contains within the java source file okay so you can uh, name this uh, uh, java source file as uh, dasari.java also because uh, th that is my surname i have just used uh, that name also there is no no such restriction uh, you can name anything but th there is a restriction uh, when we declare the class as public we will look into it uh, quite sooner so now you can name this class as anything uh, what happens is if you uh, name this class and corresponding dot class files generated uh, for everything uh, like uh, if you compile that uh, java file I am writing here the statements once again. So if you uh, compile the Java file, uh, Java C uh, Dasari dot Java, that's what we have uh, taken here. The Java C Dasari dot Java. So what happens is if you uh, take this statement and hit enter here, so all the corresponding uh, dot class files will be generated x y z dot class and abc uh, dot class file will be generated and in the same way uh, you get uh, abcd 
a b c d dot class file will be generated okay so three different uh, dot class files will be generated when you compile uh, there is no restriction as we said that you can name anything either of the class names or whatever the name you wanted okay and now what happens is you can execute uh, the, in java there is a facility that you can individually execute all these classes uh, you can say uh, something like this uh, c colon and again in the command prompt java uh, Java X Y Z. Okay, if you say Java X Y Z and hit enter, immediately runtime exception will come because uh, uh, this X Y Z does not have a main method. And the same thing happens for uh, other things also. If you say again in the command prompt, if you say Java, and if you say A B C and hit enter, again the runtime exception will be fired here. Again in the command prompt, if you say uh, Java A B C D. Java ABCD and hit if you runtime exception will come here okay and if you uh, finally uh, try to uh, say something in the command prompt if you say uh, something in the command prompt uh, Java and uh, if you say uh, the name of the uh, file here uh, Dasari or uh, something like this and if you enter again the runtime exception but this time the runtime exception is not about the main here uh, we don't have uh, uh, such class called uh, Dasari here okay so what we, we don't have such class and uh, this time the runtime exception is no class def found error okay no class def found okay so no class def found error uh, will be occurred here okay so we don't have the class so in all these cases we have uh, no such method error will come uh, no such method uh, error will come in all these classes which is uh, mean here but in that case we, do, we will have we, we don't have uh, actually any class named with even though we have we, we have we can have a convenience that we can name anything but the corresponding class is not there and when you run uh, when you try to run uh, with that class name uh, thinking that there exists some class there and you will get runtime exception no class def found error will come here okay so this is about uh, uh, the restrictions uh, various restrictions but there is uh, until now we don't we haven't seen any restriction but there is a restriction when uh, we name the uh, to name the exactly the class uh, uh, how to name the java source file here the restriction comes when uh, if you say something like this okay so if you say something like this if you uh, name a class as public okay so here we have uh, three different classes are there x y z uh, x y z a b c and a b c d and we have declared uh, this class uh, with a public modifier okay uh, class level modifier public and if you try to name this java source file as uh, dasari.java and here in this case we get a compile time error okay because the restriction is when you name uh, public uh, if you name either of the class at most uh, one class as public then compulsory uh, the name of the uh, source file must be abc.java only okay the name of this source file must be abc. Java. Uh, if you are trying to give any other thing, uh, the compiler will won't accept, and this is the perfect one because okay. So at most one class must be declared as public in Java, and at most meaning means either zero you can leave or one. At most means one zero or one. If you want to declare a class as public, if you have multiple classes within a, a Java source file, you can declare either only one class as public or you can leave without declaring any other class okay and if you are trying to do something like this uh, if you are uh, trying to declare uh, multiple classes with a public uh, modifier again this is uh, again this will fire a compile time error uh, not allowed in java should give only one class uh, as a public and that class name must be the name of the source file okay so next uh, uh, thing is that uh, next common misconceptions are there so what happens uh, if you don't uh, give any public or something like this and if you write a main here I am writing the main function here public static or let us say or let us write the main the first one only public static void main as we have seen in the last lesson only uh, string array args 
space is very less here and within that we, I am writing SOPLN system.out.println uh, class XYZ something like this I have just put a message here okay so here uh, in a in my uh, in this uh, Java source file I have three different classes and I have written the main function within the first class here okay within the first class and th generally there is a, a common misconception among the people that the whichever the class has the main method and that class name must be uh, the name of the source file something like this okay the only restriction is you have to check whether there is any public uh, declare whether any class is declared as public if no such class is declared as public you can take uh, any name for the java source file okay so here 100 percent i can take abc dot java as my class uh, as my name of the java source file here uh, abc.java 100% that works fine and there is no such restriction that uh, the main uh, whichever the class has main method should be uh, the name of that uh, source file okay so if you uh, run this uh, java source file so I'm just erasing all these things and writing the things once again So if I uh, compile uh, this Java source file, uh, if I say uh, Java C A B C dot uh, Java, and if I hit enter, now what happens is uh, first and foremost uh, the dot class files get generated, and first dot class file will be X Y Z dot class, and the second dot class file will be A B C dot class file will be generated, and then the third uh, dot class file will be A B C D A B C D dot class file will be generated okay so in java there is a facility that you can uh, compile a java source file and you can execute the individual classes okay so this is the uh, flexi flexibility we have uh, within the uh, java environment okay so now you can uh, uh, run individually you can say java xyz and happily and you can hit enter now what happens is uh, luckily we have uh, the main method within our java uh, class and now the output is going to be something like this whatever the the main method uh, statements gets executed and here SOP system dot out dot print ln class XYZ okay so the output here it's going to be class XYZ okay so next coming to the next class if you're trying to execute class ABC and if you hit enter Java ABC again runtime exception will come saying that no such method error uh, found main or something like that runtime exceptions will come okay again in the same way uh, if you execute that uh, other class also if you say Java ABC D uh, Java ABCD and if you hit enter again uh, runtime exception will come okay so runtime exceptions will come because these two classes does not have main methods and they fire the runtime exceptions and wh whichever the class has main method when you are trying to run that uh, class automatically that main method will be executed by the JVM and whatever the statements gets printed here okay so another uh, thing is that uh, there is no such restriction that only one class should have main and here uh, I can have uh, uh, multiple mains also okay so I'm trying uh, I'm writing here uh, main once again I'm writing in the shortcut form here public static void main I'm writing here with string array as argument string string array as an argument here and I'm writing SOP LN of uh, abc or something like this i'm just writing a message here and i am putting a main method uh, within this last class also it became very clumsy public static void main again i'm writing a string array as arcs and i am trying to write uh, sop ln sop ln of some abcd SOP of some ABCD and I'm just closing this class here okay so the right the board became very clumsy uh, if you look at here I have uh, three different classes three different classes and uh, uh, there is no restriction that only one class should contain main method and the name of the source file must be uh, that class which contains main method there is nothing uh, like that in Java the only restriction as we said that if, if any class is either of the classes declared as public only only one class is allowed to declare as uh, public and that uh, class name should be the name of the source file okay so now uh, we have uh, three different we have main in every uh, other class uh, in a uh, in our we have three different classes and we have declared main inside every other class and now what happens is happily uh, in the same program 
if you are executing the individual class first time uh, we have named the class where we, uh, suppose you think that we have named the source file as abc.java and uh, what happens is if when you compile the three different uh, dot class files will be generated for all the corresponding classes for all the corresponding class in the java source file and then if you are trying to execute the first class uh, which contains the main method uh, whatever the uh, system dot out dot println statement will be executed and the output will be coming here and the same time if you are executing the second class here what happens is uh, this also contains a main method and uh, whatever the uh, statements inside the main method will be executed and we have only one statement which is SOPLN and the output will be ABC and now uh, in the last class if you uh, try to execute and also that also has main method and uh, it says that ABCD okay so in this way uh, you get uh, you can if you have uh, multiple main methods uh, within the classes you can execute uh, all the different classes here and also if you uh, one thing you have to keep in mind if you declare either of the class as public uh, uh, if at most one class is public and automatically compulsory the name should be abc.java if you name this class as public uh, if you name uh, this class as public and compulsory uh, the name of the source file must be X Y Z X Y Z dot Java. Okay, X Y Z X Y Z dot uh, Java. Okay, or else it will uh, show you as compile time error. Okay, X Y Z dot Java. Okay, so to revise once again, uh, what are the points we have learned until now? Uh, the first thing is that uh, a, a the the not having the main method is not the problem of the Java uh, compiler. It is the problem of the virtual machine or JVM. Okay, that is the first thing, and the second thing is that uh, uh, the Java source file can have uh, multiple classes, and there is no restriction uh, that we have to name uh, the J source file as only the name of the class, uh, na name of the either of the classes contained within the Java source file. You can name anything, and the only restriction is that if either of the class is, if any one at most one class is declared as public, and whichever the class is declared as public, and that name should be the name of the source file okay so and, and another common misconception is that uh, a java source file or the class which contains a main method should be the name of the source file uh, at student level uh, there are some uh, common general misconceptions and that is also not the case we have just seen in the just seen now uh, a class can have uh, main or may not have the main that is not the restriction uh, there is no rule that the class which has a main method should be the name of the should be the name of the source file nothing like nothing like that the only problem is when you don't have main method it reports a runtime exception if it has main it will execute that main okay and also uh, there is no restriction that only one class should contain main or something like that you can have individually uh, declare main method in all the different classes you have uh, within your uh, um, uh, java source file and you can happily compile uh, the source file and you can execute the classes or the dot class files generated for the corresponding classes individually and run those classes by using the java command okay so this is all about the java uh, source file structures so that's it